Hi again, this is Dr. Peter Lind. Uh, one common problem that we have a lot of times reported to us is coldness. Um, from, well, temperature differences between cold and then hot, even hot flashes. And again, this could be multiple issues, but uh, first thing we think about is cold is, why is the body cold? Is it a metabolic problem related to the thyroid? Is it a hypothalamus problem in the brain not coordinating the chemistry correctly? Um, is it an anemic problem that you're just not getting oxygen to the tissues? So coldness could be many different problems, uh, many different systems, all the way up then to hot, you know, the hot flashes that sometimes people get. Uh, and oftentimes we think it's hormone, and most of the time it is related to hormones, uh, an imbalance in the adrenal system, the pituitary, and the hypothalamus. Uh, I'll tell you, these coordinate, these glands and, and brain tissue coordinates very intimately with each other. And if there's a feedback problem to the part of the brain, or a pituitary, or an adrenal problem, you know, you're going to get these hot flashes, you're going to get these swings, because the hormone output is not regulated. And so uh, we, we do a salivary hormone test, depending on really what the sim specific symptoms are, and we want to get to the root of the problem. And see, we don't want to necessarily attack the hot flashes or the coldness. We want to go to the sources of the problems and get those metabolic systems under control so your body doesn't have to have the symptoms of cold or hot or any other symptoms. Again, symptoms are so important and they lead us to the metabolic conditions that are going through problems that need to be fixed. So that's why the testing is so important because we don't know uh, and uh, you, you don't know until you test and find out what's going on with the metabolism. So between cold and hot, it could be multiple things, multiple problems, but we want to do the testing to find out. So hope you've gained some information uh, that, that's useful for you. And uh, I'm Dr. Peter Lin, and we'll speak again next time.